logo and title text, Evidence Now, Advancing Heart Health, an AHRQ initiative. Below the title is the logo of the USA Department of Health and Human Services. Beside it is the logo for AHRQ, Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality. Text, navigating the primary care landscape. Quote, if we share, if we problem solve together, if we align our work, we'll learn more. End quote. David Myers, MD, Acting Director, AHRQ. This was a really large initiative. And one of the exciting things about it is we are bringing research teams from across the country, seven different big teams together to do this project. Traditionally in research projects like this, each of the teams then goes off and does their own separate thing. And from the beginning, we designed Evidence Now to try to change that paradigm. We were about quality improvement. We were about meeting people where they were and giving them the support to improve. And we wanted to see if we could do that with the research collaboratives themselves. Tess Miller, DRPH, Deputy Director of the Center for Evidence and Practice Improvement, AHRQ. The landscape of primary care at, at the particular moment we were launching was just um, tumultuous. Practices were merging um, into health systems. Some were going out of business. We really underestimated the ability of small practices to get data for quality improvement purposes out of their electronic health records. It is true that electronic health records are being used by primary care, but they have not advanced to the place that they're easy for use in quality improvement. Deb Cohen, PhD, Principal Investigator, Evidence Now National Evaluation, Oregon Health and Science University. The practices in Evidence Now were on as many as 32 different electronic health systems. And many of those electronic health systems did not give the practices the reporting capacity that they needed. Sam Seichert, MD, Principal Investigator, North Carolina Cooperative, University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. And those really extreme limitations of having a world where there are tons of digital data, but the data cannot be harnessed to do something that was really important, that was new, that was a shock. So a lot of our early work had to go to re-understanding how we can provide quality improvement support using existing EHRs. Bob McNellis, MPHPA, Senior Advisor for Primary Care, AHRQ. So Evidence Now was designed to remedy some really structural and organizational problems around primary care. We learned about the chaotic nature of primary care practice at the moment, that it's undergoing seismic shifts in the way it's organized and structured. Primary care had become quite fragmented over the years. The healthcare system used primary care in, in a lot of different ways. Uh, primary care wasn't always a high priority in many healthcare systems. And we thought we'd find the solo practices in more rural areas, in upper Wisconsin or in Idaho. But to our surprise, or at least to my surprise, the place we found the most solo practices was New York City that small, independent, solo physician practices, sometimes caring for just the people on their block, are a foundational element of primary care in New York City. And if we're not supporting them, if they go under, if they are not able to improve the quality of their patients, the health of, of all of these people will be affected. So Evidence Now is a multi-level initiative, and there was really important work happening at the level of the cooperative. Um, their teams were building infrastructure to reach over 200 practices. They were, in all cases, trying to touch each of those 200 practices with some form of facilitation or coaching. Perry Dickinson, MD, Principal Investigator, Southwest Cooperative, University of Colorado. Beginning several large-scale practice transformation projects around the same time, there was a big increase in demand for our practice facilitators. We also had to track what was going on across all the different practice facilitators and practices across over 20 different organizations. We expected some payment reform that might have helped practices want to engage more in this initiative, and, and I don't think they came through as we thought they would. Without changing the way practices are paid for the services they deliver, it's hard for them to actually change the way they organize and deliver care. George Schroeder, MD, primary care physician. The challenge in evidence now goes back to the very need for evidence now. One is, is the business side of medicine and, and, and generating enough revenue to pay everybody's salary. And the other is performing optimally, uh, you know, on these 
these academic metrics. Sam Ross, Senior Project Manager and Practice Facilitator, Midwest Cooperative Northwestern University. In terms of acceptance by the practices, it was a mixed bag. Some were certainly more excited than others, but on the whole, I'd say most of the providers and the staff that I worked with were pretty welcoming and they do want to help their patients out and they were happy that they were being offered this opportunity at no cost. Caitlin Dickinson, MPH, Project Manager and Practice Facilitator, Northwest Cooperative, Oregon Rural Practice-Based Research Network. Initially with clinics was really trying to understand, well, what is the structure of your day? Who's responsible for what? Let's do some workflow mapping exercises and figure out if there are ways that on average you could have 15 minutes a day to be able to pick up a new activity and work on that, or an hour a month de dedicated to a quality improvement program. Stephanie Kirchner, MSPHRD, Director of Practice Transformation, Southwest Cooperative University of Colorado. We tried in evidence now, I think, to make a connection between, you're not just reporting widgets, you're not just reporting um, numbers of patients or account of patients who have high blood pressure. You're really trying to understand this so that you can have an effect on the wellness of your community. If we share, if we inspire each other, if we problem solve together, if we align our work, together we'll learn more. And we took this diverse set of researchers and built a collaborative that I think did tremendously more work and had much more learning um, because of their ability to come together. And that's something I'm incredibly proud of. Logo and title text, Evidence Now, Advancing Heart Health, an AHRQ initiative. www.ahrq.gov slash evidence now. Below the title is the logo of the USA Department of Health and Human Services. Beside it is the logo for AHRQ, Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality.